adventure families welcome back today we're going to be doing the ladybug award that is from the sunbeam class as you know you could find some ideas in the leader's guide but also make sure that you check the requirements that need to be done in order to get the ladybugs patch for your class and of course you will combine them and i will be teaching you some ideas today let's get started so you can find the ladybug award on the sunbeam leader's guide the sunbeam is the second class which is for grade two but if a lot of your older kids have not done it it's a fun award to do so you can definitely do it together and it is the meeting six and it's called ladybugs um before you start your award you want to make sure you look at the requirements because the leader's guide is just going to give you some ideas, some suggestions that you can do, not the whole requirements that the children need to get their ladybug patch. So the first thing they suggest is a ladybug life cycle coloring sheet. And as I said, you can go online and search for free ones. You can also do a ladybug snack and the ladybug tic-tac-toe so the requirement is asking you to paint the ladybug rocks i think it's asking you to do two one for you and one to give but if you wanted to do ladybug tic-tac-toe you would need more so that's one of the crafts that they're suggesting so very simple stuff that you can do with your class but again, I'm going to be showing you some other stuff that you can do to teach this award. As you know, I like to start each award with a small Bible story or a small devotional about what we're talking about. So since we're doing the Ladybug Award, I have this small devotional that I found. It talks about bugs because it's a little bit hard to get one just about ladybugs, but it does include the ladybug. Um, so that's what I would do first. And then the first step would be learn about ladybugs. So I can go and get a book. Uh, if you don't have a book, feel free to go to your local library and get a book. This one, for example, is on bugs and slugs. And I can just focus on this page, which talks about ladybugs. Or if you have more time and you can read them the whole book. Um, another thing that I can do is go online and just print out some something that I can find online that talks about ladybugs to tell the children. If you don't have the books or the small devotional and you're printing out something online, make sure that you also print out some pictures. Or if you have a tablet or a laptop, to show the children um, while you're telling them and show the about ladybugs and also showing them about ladybugs. Another thing that I would suggest to do is go online and look up fun facts. So every time I am doing an award that has to do with animals or insects or anything like that, I like to look up fun facts because children are really into learning. So when you tell them um, fun facts that maybe they didn't know, it's something that will stick to them and something they can go home and say, hey, did you know that a uh, ladybug's bright color warns birds that it does not taste good? So those are some options for the step one when you want to learn about ladybugs. For step two, is asking you to describe the life cycle of a ladybug. Again, you can use a book, you can use a YouTube video, you can also print out um, a piece of paper from the web that is describing the life cycle so they can see it as you are talking about it. An idea would also be if you go online, there's a lot of free printables. This one, for example, is from teachingmama.org. And this is a little thing that they can put together. So after they have learned about the life cycle, they can put this one together. It's like a little craft. Or you could print out, again, there's a lot of them online. This one is from 
education.com and it's just a printout and they can color it. So those are some other options that you can have for the children to learn about ladybugs. Another idea would be if you can get a printout of the life cycle and you can bring um, scissors, they can cut it and maybe use a paper plate to represent this circle and then just cut the shapes and put them in order. But you can go online, you can go on printers and there's a lot of ideas on you how you can do the life cycle. So for question number three, it's asking, are all ladybugs red? Again, you can Google online the information that will tell you that no, not all ladybugs are red. You can print out some different kinds of ladybugs so that they can see how some are a little bit orange or yellow or even black. And one game that I did is I went online and I just Google ladybugs and I printed out a lot of of different kinds as you can see I have more here and then what I did I did two two of each I did two of each and then I put them on cardstock and I laminated the cardstock so what I do with this is we do a game of memory and memory is a really fun game if you're familiar with it so you'll just mix up all the cards and then you will put them upside down and the kids will take turns turning two cards around and see if they can find a match so they have to remember where their the matches are and that's a fun way to play and learning about how ladybugs are not all the same they might look all the same but they're not another thing you can do is depending on your class you can do a puzzle of a ladybug. I found this one at the dollar store. Um, this one's a picture of a ladybug, but um, you could also look for real ones. You don't want to do a really big puzzle. This one's a small 24 pieces puzzle because this is for smaller children. But this would be another idea to play a game about ladybugs while you're learning about ladybugs. Another fun game that you can play with your class about ladybugs is you want to make this big cutout of a ladybug. If you go to the dollar store, they have big car stocks and you just need a red one and a black one. And as you can see, it's a very simple shape to do. So you don't have to worry about being that crafty. You just make a big oval and then the little head. And then what you want to do is cut you know, like big circles and you grab some neckerchiefs and you will put it around the children's eyes and have them take turns with their eyes closed, putting the spots on the ladybug. So if you do go and make the ladybug cut out, another way you can use it is to play a game with beanbags. So you will get beanbags and you will have the children take turns throwing the beanbags and making the spots on the ladybugs. The purpose of this game will be to make sure that the beanbags land inside the ladybug to make its spots. Another thing you can do if you have older kids is add the spot. Of course, you would do more than two. I have two just for demonstration, but you would put more spots. And then the older kids will try to land the beanbags on the spot. And that's a little bit harder. So you might, you can use that game with your older adventurers. So some of the crafts that you can do, and as you know, I like to do a craft if I can at every award, just so the children are going to have something to take home and to show their family and friends. You can do a small ladybug like this. The kids can choose a the color they want to do it and they just put it together and add the dots. Or you could do something like this, which is they make the leaf and then make a little ladybug and it's something that they can take home. Or you could do this is another craft where they just grab um, some black construction paper, glue some eyes, 
glue the wings and this one you could actually tape it around their wrist that way when they're leaving the class they won't lose it and they can show their parents they'll be so excited to show their moms and dads and their friends and that way it's a reminder to them of what they did in the adventure class that Sabbath. Another thing you can do is a ladybug mask. I found this one. I believe you could get this ones at Walmart or at Michaels also. But if you don't have that, you can just go online and search for a pattern and then just make it out of construction paper and the children can just put it together. So even though this one's made out of foam and it was a kit, you could also get them at Oriental Trading. You can definitely just duplicate it and make your own out of constructor paper for the kids to use. Or you could do it out of a paper plate. There's many options if you go online for ladybug crafts. So these are some ideas of what you can do to teach the Adventure Club Ladybugs Award. We hope that you enjoy them and that you can use them in your class. And remember to have your class be fun and do stuff that the children will remember. And of course, always connecting everything to God and how God made these beautiful bugs.